Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. There is a quadrilateral ABCD, which intersects a circle at eight points. Dividing the circle into eight arcs, four inside the quadrilateral and four outside. Among them, of the four arcs located inside the quadrilateral, the summations of the two opposite ones are equal. Can you prove that, the four vertices ABCD of the quadrilateral are on the same circle? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Let's first look at what the known conditions, and the conclusion to be proved actually mean. As we all know, the arc on the circle actually refers to the central angle. We connect the center of the circle to the eight intersection points, so as to obtain the four central angles corresponding to the four arcs inside the quadrilateral, and the summations of the two pairs of the opposite ones are equal. Then what does it mean that the four vertices of a quadrilateral are on the same circle? Everyone is familiar with it. It means that, each summation of the opposite interior angles is 180 degrees. Now we have translated the known conditions and the conclusion to be proved into the language about angles, so the problem becomes simpler. As we keep repeating, when we deal with the problem, where a line intersects a circle, no matter whether it becomes useful or not at the end, we just simply plot the line crossing the center and perpendicular to the chord. Here, plotting these lines has two benefits. First, these lines bisect the central angle subtended by the chord. Combining the known conditions, we get that, the summation of the angles ZOW and XOY is equal to the summation of the angles WOX and YOZ. Please don't forget that, these four angles add up to a paragon. So the two summations are both 180 degrees. Regarding the second benefit, let's take a look at the quadrilateral AWOZ first. The angles AWO and OZA are already right angles, so the summation of the other two angles must be 180 degrees. This conclusion applies to the other three corresponding quadrilaterals as well. We bring these four equations into the aforementioned conclusion, and easily get the conclusion to be proved. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.